Hello learners, our today's lesson is CRA and under CRA we are going to see the early life of Jesus Christ and under the early life of Jesus Christ we are going to see the kindness of the three wise men. Fly to the sky, fly, 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 take me up high. So uh, the three kindness, the kindness of the three wise men. These are the men who went to see Jesus after he was born. Remember that uh, I know you heard from your Sunday school that Jesus was born in a town called uh, Bethlehem. So after his birth, the, there was a star which guided the three wise men to where the baby Jesus was, uh, had been born. So the three wise men were guided by the star up to where the baby Jesus was born. These three wise men had some gift. The three wise men had gone to see the baby Jesus and they had carried some gift for the Jesus. So these are the, the gifts that they had carried for the baby Jesus. We have gold, we have Frank, frankincense and milk. These are the gifts that Jesus was given by the three wise men. A uh, gift is something that uh, somebody gives you as a present. So gift is what you get as a present. Maybe you have done something good or during your birthday uh, party you can have some gifts from uh, family friends, you can have some gifts from your parent or your relative. So a gift is something that you are given as a present. You can have a gift from your parents, you can have a gift from your relatives, you can have your gift from family friends. Eh? But a stranger should not give you a gift and accept it. You should not accept gift from strangers because uh, strangers are the people that we don't know. So you don't know the intention. So don't allow a stranger to give you a gift. Just say that you don't want. And once you are given a gift by your parents, your relatives, your family friends, you are supposed to say thank you. So Jesus was given this uh, <coughs> uh, was given these three gifts during his day when he was born. Uh, so I'm going to read this story is found in the Bible, uh, Matthew 2 to 11. I'm going to read so that you can hear about the three wise men. Okay, Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea during the time when Herod was a king. Soon afterwards, some men who studied the stars came from the east of Jerusalem and asked, Where is the baby born to the king of the Jews? We saw a star when it came up in the east, and we have gone to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was very upset, and so was everyone else in Jerusalem. He called together all the chief priests, and the teachers of the law and ask them where will the men say, where will where will where will the messiah be born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea they answered for this is what the prophet wrote 6 verse 6 Bethlehem is the land of Judah you are by no means to list of the leading cities of Judea for who you will come a leader who will guide my people Israel. Eh? So Herod called the visitors from the east to a secret meeting and found out from the uh, found out from them the exact time and the star had appeared. Eh? The exact exact time the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem with this instruction: go and make a careful search for the child and when you find him let me know remember these are the ones from the king Herod uh, 
as we can see from the Bible, King Herod was not happy of the birth of Jesus. So he wanted to, to research where Jesus had been born so that he can uh, so that he can organize and see how Jesus will be killed because he knew that Jesus was going to be the, to be the king. So he decided to send the three wise men, the three wise men, so that they go and research where Jesus had been born. So, and so they left and on their way they saw the same star they had seen in the east. When they saw it, how happy they were, what joyful was theirs. It went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They went into the house and when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down and worshipped him. They bought out, they bought out, out their gift of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and presented them to him. So these three wise men were happy to see the baby Jesus, and that's why they gave him a, a they, they gave him the, such present. So. Uh, so the, according to that story, King Herod was not happy, so he wanted to see on how he will kill baby Jesus. And we are told that after the three men, after the three wise men had given out the gift, they went back, but they never followed the same way because Jesus, God had told them in a dream not to go back using the same way, not to go back to. Herod. So that's all about the gift. Okay, now that we are through with the uh, gift of the three wise men, let's look at the Jesus Christ worked. Let us see uh, the, how Jesus worked. So we are told that Jesus Christ worked. To work is to do something using your energy. You do something using your energy. So Jesus helped his father. You know the father of Jesus we have said he is called Joseph. So Jesus was so obedient such that he could help his father to work. Remember the father was a, a carpenter. So just like you, uh, you also help your parents at home, your teachers at school. At school. The same applies to Jesus also helped his parents. There are so many ways you can work at school. For example, at school you can help in cleaning classes, watering flower bed. We should also uh, teach ourselves to work just like uh, Jesus. We help our parents, we help our teachers. How do you help your parents? Just like the way uh, Jesus helped his father. At home you can have, uh, you can just wash the utensils, you can clean the compound, you can also fetch water, fetch firewood, and also you can water flowers or you water animals. That By doing so, you'll be helping your parents at home, just like the way that Jesus helped his parents. Jesus was so obedient, so he worked with his father. Uh, the father was a carpenter. We have said that the father was a carpenter, so Jesus used to go with his father to work and help him. Uh, from this picture, we see there is there is Jesus and his father. Just look at the way what they are doing. You find there is a table there. They are they are making a table. Jesus is helping his father to hold some parts of food so that they can the father can cut it. So Jesus is doing something. He's helping his father. Okay. Uh, now that we have learned about the Jesus working with his father, I want you to ask your guidance uh, to help you to know more on this story. How did Jesus work with his father? And also, I want you in a, uh, to share with your friend the kind of job, uh, the kind of work that you always help at home, just like the way Jesus helped his father. Share with your friends and also guide them, okay? So that you can learn more on working with uh, your parents, working with your teachers, 
just like the way Jesus did. Okay, uh, we are through with the story on how Jesus worked with his father. Now let's see on how Jesus calmed the storm. We are told that Jesus calmed the storm. So we are going to see on how Jesus calms the storm. A storm is a strong wind that causes fear. A strong wind that causes fear. Uh, Jesus uh, was with his disciples and they were in a boat. So uh, Jesus calms the storm. We are going to see this story in the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse 23 to 27 and I'm going to read uh, Jesus got into the boat and his disciple went with him suddenly a fierce storm, a storm hit the lake and the boat was in danger of sinking but Jesus was asleep uh, the disciple went to him and woke him up Save us, Lord, they said. We are about to die. Why are you so frightened? Jesus answered. How little faith you have. Then he got up and ordered the winds and the waves to stop. And three, and there was a great calm. Uh, everyone was amazed. What kind of man is this? They say even the wind can, uh, even the wind and the waves obey. Uh, from the story, we get to know that uh, Jesus was very tired, so he happened to sleep. And as he was sleeping, the disciples uh, found out that the, the the boat was in danger because there was a fence, a storm that was going to make the boat to sink. So they were worried. They had to walk Jesus up. So they called Jesus, and Jesus. Uh, ordered the st the storm to stop, and all uh, and the, the 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 storm was calmed by Jesus. So from this story, we see that Jesus is so powerful, and even the 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 the, the waves and the winds obeys him. So Jesus is so powerful, and also we can see that uh, these uh, disciples and. Uh, trusted in Jesus. They knew that when they work Jesus up, everything is going to be fine. So we can as well apply this to our life. We find that if you have thing, you are sick and you have been taking medicine, but you find that you are not getting better, you can just ask God, uh, ask Jesus to, you can ask Jesus uh, to, to heal you and with the trust, Jesus will heal you. So there are so many uh, there are so many situations where you need to trust in Jesus so that he can uh, help you Just like the way the disciple trusted in him because Jesus is powerful from that uh, Story I'm going to read a story of Nehemiah's mother. I want you to listen very careful Nehemiah's mother was sick. She was admitted in hospital. Nehemiah went to stay with her grandmother. Nehemiah visited her mother every day. Nehemiah was sad because she had no one to cook for her and wash her clothes. She prayed everything to God to heal her mother. Her mother got better after staying for one week in hospital. Nehemiah was so happy she thanked God for healing her mother. That's all about the story. So here we see that uh, Nehemiah's mother has been sick. So Nehemiah had nobody to cook for her, nobody to wash her clothes, and so many other things. She could not do so many things. So she was so worried because her mother was sick, and she didn't know when the mother will be. Okay, so she told, she talked to God. She asked God with the trust she had with the God to heal the mother. So because she ended up trusting God. God helped her mother and her mother was uh, healed. So her mother was healed after one week. So the same applies to her. We can as well uh, trust in God. In every difficulty that you are going through, 
if you have something that is that is not working the way you want that is not making you happy you can as well ask god to uh to 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 help you and with the trust uh, god is going to help you so if we find our friends are sick you pray for them you ask god to help them uh to heal them if our parents are sick you also ask god to heal them just like like the way nehemiah did so i'm going to ask you some questions that will make you understand more so some questions that i'm going to ask you is the first question uh what was jesus doing when the storm came what was jesus doing when the st storm uh, came what did the disciple tell jesus what did the disciple tell jesus question three how did jesus calm the storm how did jesus calm the storm those three questions that i've given you are going to help you uh, to know if you have understood well so answer those uh, three questions and then uh, you share with your friends or your guardians all the dif uh, difficult that you have been going through something that you see it's not good and you, you you happen to tell god to make it good for you so share with your friend your guardian so that you relate what you once experienced with what uh, the disciple experienced thank you for that up and down everybody give a share